would you like to see? You want to see push I want up you said? Wall push up. Now you want to do a wall push up? I can do a wall push up then. She's wearing heels. Or do you want to kick them off? Kick them off. Should we do it up on the stage? Sure. We go up on the stage here. Let's set up with uh, our basic push-up Sure. Do you want me to do it or do you want to do it? Uh, you can do it. <laughs> All right, I'll talk about it, and then Kyle will do it. So guys, we do this the same way uh, pretty much every time. Um, always starting off on the ground here in the down position. Now, when we do our push-ups, um, elbows are always in. Dimples of the elbows, what we call this there, um, always facing forward. You should go forward. So we don't want to see this. But show me you don't want to see it. So we don't want to see this at that's, all. No wings. That's no an improper push-up. So proper push-up. Elbows to your side. Crease is going forward. The next thing he's going to do is knees are on the ground, his feet are on the ground, his chest is on the ground. He's in the push-up position. Now I'm going to have him tighten up his buttocks and his knees are going to come off the floor. And he goes and he shows his T's. He's got a full plank going. It's as stiff as a board going through. And then it's a single movement pressing up to the top and then back down to within two inches of the ground and then back up. Your chin is up and forward as well. And that is a proper push-up. You've got a plank, it's a core exercise. You're using your core all the way through, you're creating a plank, you're using your triceps, you're using your shoulders, you're using your back. It's really a pretty complete exercise. Push-ups are amazing. You can do a lot. And that is how to do it. So that's a standard push-up. A big modification for this would be to have your knees on the ground. So exact same thing, feet are touching together, glutes are tight, and you're doing the exact same thing, elbows in, dimples of the elbows facing forward, head is up, and you're just going down like this, and all you're really doing is shortening. Um, the distance. Yeah, the distance so right here. You're making this. it shorter, you're making it easier, eliminating some of the weight. Right. Okay. You want to show them a the wall? Yeah. The next modification I need to do right here would yeah. be the same thing. Um, just going to slide on you? Yeah. yeah. Oh, dear. Same exercise, and this is actually, um, I have one study on this that says doing wall push-ups are actually better for you and build more strength than doing knee push-ups. That's interesting. That's something I have to look into a little more. Usually I use this as something that's even a little bit easier than doing a knee push-up, um, but, you know, that's some food for thought for you right there. Exact same idea. Your elbows are in, your chest is, is up and erect, your, your back is straight with a nice curve into it, uh, actually. And uh, you're against the wall here, and you can, these are nice because you can adjust what oh, angle you're at. And you're doing the exact same thing, going right down until just your nose is right off the wall and coming back out again. Now, just if you could step back farther and farther, it gets harder and harder. As you walk closer to the wall, it gets easier and easier, so you can adjust it. Yeah. It's very similar to a, pro a thing we do in a class called TRX, which we use these straps, and you're doing it's a suspension training class that we also offer at the club. And it's the same concept. You have a spot where you're anchored on, you've got two straps, you've got to hold yourself stable, and you do a push-up. But based on how far you step back or forward, makes it easier or harder. Wonderful. Thank you so much.